Are you guys tired of trying out all these settings and nothing ever working? Well, look no further. My settings will help you drop MGBs just like me. Since the beginning of this game, I have stuck by these settings and I have not changed any of them. Before getting into it, if you could smash that like button for me and subscribe if you're new, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, so jumping into the settings, I do play on controller. So if you are looking for like mouse and keyboard settings, I am not the guy. First of all, I want to start off with my stick layout is on default. I have controller vibration off. Bumper ping is off. I don't even know what this is, but I do not mess with it. My dead zones are not going to be the same for you because I do have a different controller than you. Yours could be older or newer, but these are my dead zone inputs. Over on my horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity, I like to stay anywhere between 8 and 10. My ADS sensitivity multiplier is always at 1. I do not see a reason as to why you would need to change this unless you play over a 10 sensitivity. If you are struggling with maybe aim assist or just you just feel like your aim is off, make sure your aim response curve type is always on dynamic. A lot of people do like to play on standard, but dynamic is definitely the best. Even the pros use this setting. Target aim assist is always on. This is legit just aim assist. You always want to have this on. Now for the aim assist type, I have seen people run default and sometimes I like to switch to default, but mainly I am using Black Ops aim assist. Over on the gameplay tab for your controller, I like to run automatic sprint. People do like to use automatic tag sprint, but I just don't really see a reason. There is a lot of gunfights that you get into where you will lose if you have ATS on and automatic sprint just feels more fluent for me. Over on your tactical sprint behavior, you want to have this on single tap run. Grounded mantle, you want to have off. Automatic airborne mantle, you want to have this off too. And automatic ground mantle slash hang, you want to have this off. Over on your slide dive behavior, you want to have this on slide only if you like slide canceling. Now, if you do like to dive, you want to have it on tap to slide and hold to dive. Or you could have it the other way around. I mean, it's really like a personal preference, but I do like to only slide because I only slide cancel. Now, I have seen a lot of people change this because they play Warzone, but as a multiplayer, a person i like to use tap to reload i have seen people do um prioritize interact which basically makes it to where you tap to reload and interact but if there is something like a door in your way it'll prioritize you opening the door over a reload now as far as my graphics go i really don't see a reason as to why you need to change much of this except for like just leaving everything on low or off so i'm just going to quickly go over all of this Now for my audio settings, I never ever change these. I don't really have too much to say about these. I'll quickly go over these as well. Now for my interface, I think there's only like one thing that I changed and that would be my color customization. A lot of people do ask me about this. I have is always a light blue. My party is white. Usually whenever I party up with people and my enemy is always red. Neutral is white. Contested is yellow. And my color filter is set on two. A lot of people like to just, I mean, I think these are all just personal preference, but two definitely looks the best for me. Whenever you do turn the color filter on, you do want to make sure the world color intensity is on, all the way up and the interface color is all the way up as well. Also, people like to ask why my mini map is like a little bit closer than normal. You want to make sure you change your HUD bounds. You just press all the way down and I'm pretty sure you press like all the way to the right. Yeah, because if you press left, it goes out. 
you always want to make sure your mini map is inwards because on um, this game looking at your mini map is definitely very useful and always make sure your mini map shape is on square circle just it doesn't look that good and traditionally like in older cuds it's always been a square mini map and i always have my horizontal compass off as well i just don't see as to why you need that crosshairs are on static and i think all this stuff doesn't really matter too much but that is going to do it for my settings i hope this helped you and if you have any other questions please let me know down in the comments i hope you guys enjoy your day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace